Joins us now to talk about the 70th anniversary. He's the Washington Bureau Chief of the Shanghai One Win Daily. So, you know, 70 years we saw, you know, we were watching that video of the Olympics and it just seemed like yesterday, just a few years ago, not 11 years ago, but, you know, a lot has happened. Um, where does China now see the next 70 years? I think uh, for China, the first 70 years is itself a miracle, and many ordinary Chinese people uh, have already experienced a lot of things in their life. But uh, they believe the coming seven decades can be even better. We can still achieve a lot. Today, even China is the second largest economy in the world, but still ordinary people are seeing a lot of other challenges like an environmental problem and also this education challenge and uh, many, many uh, other things. So I think for ordinary people like me, I expect my country to be much like uh, uh, having beautiful uh, all this uh, uh, environment and uh, uh, people don't need to worry about uh, their education and they will have a, a great retirement and, uh, and all these uh, people's life will be much better in spite of the uh, nation's um, big ambition for the future. How have you watched outside perceptions of China change over the years, especially in recent years? And what do you think people around the world see uh, when it comes to China now? I think people here in Washington and in many other countries see China as a global power at this moment, militarily, economically, and politically. But uh, I, I, I will say most of the people here and many other countries uh, do not have uh, real experience what China really has uh, experienced. And let me uh, give you an example. I think in China, in my city, uh, Shanghai, uh, many, most of the people uh, in their 50s are getting now about 100 more uh, kind of uh, sa salaries than 30 years ago. And uh, they're having no uh, difficulty to choose what food to eat, what uh, place to, to live. And I remember, remember many of my friends, their parents used to live in a very uh, small one bedroom. Uh, I mean, there are three to five family members, but today they have two or three very good apartments in uh, different uh, places in the, in the city. I think uh, for people, their ordinary life, ordinary life is getting much better than a few decades ago. The amount of change. Mm. Um, when it comes to innovation technology, we hear a lot about AI, 5G, that seems to be a very big priority uh, inside China right now. Um, where do you see that heading even in the next year, the next two, three years? I think you know, I want to divide it uh, into two, uh, two different aspects. I think uh, AI and uh, robot and uh, this uh, kind of uh, IT uh, technologies, China is moving ahead because we have huge population. We have uh, the advantage of later commerce, something like that. But still, in the area of advanced manufacturing and in many other uh, kind of industries, China still are, is left behind. Uh, American, Japan, and many uh, Western countries, I think China still needs to spend a few more decades to slowly develop its own technology. And, and I think uh, uh, we, we will have to work hard on that. You are talking about your experiences, uh, what you've seen growing up. Um, Let's have an update on China's poverty alleviation plans. We know that this was a huge, ambitious undertaking mm -hmm. for President Xi, lifting everyone in the country out of poverty by the year 2020. That's just a few months away. Mm -hmm. Where do things stand right now? I think uh, it will be a miracle. And many, many ec economists here will acknowledge that itself is a big miracle for a country of 1.4 billion people. And uh, most, of them, most of them, all of them will be out of poverty by next year. But I think uh, China will soon be looking at next uh, kind of uh, target. We are having lower kind of standard when it comes to um, poverty line. And I think. Uh, uh, after next year, China will move ahead to uh, try to alleviate many uh, people uh, steer uh, from a relatively poor kind of living condition to a much more higher kind of uh, living situation. I think uh, we still have a lot of jobs to do, but uh, uh, this issue itself is a big miracle in my opinion. All right, 70 years, a major milestone, Song Jiang. Thank you so much for joining us.